So melatonin has become quite popular over the last few years and the question for this video is does it really work that well? Well, if you've never tried it before, I highly recommend melatonin and I'm going to tell you how it works, why it works, and what things you need to know if you plan on taking melatonin and or if you are a healthcare provider wanting to give some education or know who can take this medication. What is melatonin? Melatonin is actually a hormone that is produced by your body, specifically the pineal gland in your brain. Now, the pineal gland is about the size of a pea. Now, let's talk about how melatonin works. The typical dose of melatonin is usually between 5 to 10 milligrams. Melatonin generally works within 30 to 60 minutes of taking the melatonin. Melatonin basically signals the body to go to sleep. Pretty much why melatonin works is because it regulates your sleep-wake cycle. When it's daytime, pretty much your body produces less melatonin. And when it's nighttime, when it's dark, your body increases its melatonin production, making you sleepier. Now let's talk about what you need to know about melatonin. Generally, melatonin is very safe and has very few side effects. And usually it will get you to sleep in no time, as mentioned earlier, approximately 30 to 60 minutes. However, there are some things that different individuals need to know. Like, for instance, melatonin can affect ovulation. So women who are wanting to get pregnant uh, may want to avoid melatonin. Another thing is, if you have any kind of clotting disorder, bleeding disorders, um, melatonin has shown to potentially make you bleed more, so definitely want to avoid melatonin if you have something like hemophilia. It also may increase your blood pressure, believe it or not, so this is something very important for people who have hypertension to realize. If you're diabetic, it may interfere with your glucose levels, it actually may cause hyperglycemia. You should be very cautious while taking melatonin with other uh, sedating medications like uh, benzodiazepines, narcotics, and also alcohol. It's very important. It can have, it, it have an additive effect and make you extremely drowsy. If you have depression, it can make depression worse. And do not take melatonin if you're on immunosuppressants as it can in interfere with these kind of drugs. So if you have an organ transplant and you're on immunosuppressants, don't take melatonin. Last but not least, if you have a history of seizures, it definitely can increase your risk for having a seizure. So these are all important things to know. These are also important things to know for healthcare providers when they're talking to the patients and the patient says, I just want something natural. Even though it's natural, there still can be side effects as well and also things that we should avoid taking this with. Well, that ends this video. Thanks for watching. Please sure to subscribe. Go check out medmadeeasy.com. We have a shop that has lots of different tools and things that help you get started just right. We have nursing kits, as you can see here. We have quizzes. We have tools such as pen lights and the other study resources. Make sure to check it out. We also have a blog as well, so make sure to follow that.